this is Elisa. Welcome back to my channel, Elisa in Montreal. Thank you so much for coming back to see another one of my videos. This is so much appreciated. This video is going to be about makeup. The reason why it's because I mentioned how going white has made it that my makeup has to change, had to change. I cannot keep on doing the makeup that I did for so, so, so many years. And somebody asked me, well, how did it change? What do you do different now that you used to do then? For starters, I can say that I only apply two. That's right, only two. This is on my regular day. Whenever I am filming or I'm going out or anything like that, I do apply a bit more, but otherwise, all I apply on a regular day is two. So do you guys want to see what my famous two are? Keep on watching. I like to put some kind of primer where I have most of my, I would say, lines. It's not going to change. It's not plastic surgery. But to me, I feel like I am filling in some of these lines. Um, so what I do is, as much as possible, try to tap this primer in my face lines, especially in the forehead. And like I said, maybe it's all in my head, but I do feel like I have a better canvas to work on later. I do use a primer for my eyelids. I really feel that that does make a difference. And it's two little drops and I just put, tap them all over my eyelids like this, uh, going from my corner all the way to the crow's feet. There you go. This is from NARS and a little bit goes a long way. Then I tap it on my fingers like this. And then I just tap it all over my face. Don't forget the ears so that there's no demarcation under the eyes, all the way to the hairline. I do the same for the neck. I don't wear concealer. I don't try to hide these spots. I don't think that for me it's something that's feasible. I am what I am. I am a certain age. This is all part of aging. Yes, I wish I could have laser treatment. Yes, I wish I could have acid peels. Yes, I wish I could have a weekly facial so that the appearance of lines and spots would be less. But nothing is going to take away what age gives you naturally. It is what it is. Accept it or fight it. If you fight it, I'm gonna tell you right now, you ain't gonna win. And if you accept it, at least you're going to be happy and you're not gonna waste so much time stressing because you have two spots on your cheeks. Enough preaching. I'm sure makeup companies hate me. Like I said at the beginning of this video, my makeup is a two-step makeup. First one would be the tinted moisturizer and the second one is my non-existent eyebrows. I've been requested so many times to give a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows and I can't because I cannot see myself. Hey girls, we're in it, this together. So I do my eyebrow, right now I'm using Benefit Eyebrow, what's this called? Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It's all a question of practice, girls, and if you guys are of a certain age, I know you've been down this road many times. If you're a lucky girl that was smart enough never to pluck your eyebrows and you have nice, thick eyebrows, all I can say to you is I'm jealous. This is my everyday makeup, not more than this, and personally, I find it's perfect for my coloring right now. When I know I'm going to be doing something a bit more than just, you know, going through errands and so on, I will add mascara. There is nothing wrong with aging, there is nothing wrong with wrinkles, there is nothing wrong with anything. 
and if putting on makeup is your thing then go for it yes as long as you're happy for me I just find that when I have too much makeup on I it makes me look tired it makes me look like I am not in a happy place and I find that the less I have like this the more I look fresh and ready to hit the day to be able to do whatever it is and I just feel like I say fresh I don't feel uh, tired however if I do want to play the dramatic queen which is very often I like to put mascara underneath but 60 style so that means I take my brush this way and I brush my lower eyelashes such and the clumpier the better now you're like, what? Clumpy mascara? Yes, clumpy mascara, just at the bottom lashes, with nothing else, adds that air of, I am too busy to put on makeup, so I'm just gonna quickly put on some mascara, and I'm off to be chic somewhere. Sure, people are gonna say, hang on, this is not the way you look when you do your videos. Of course not, because when I do my videos, I do put more, just so that I have you know a bit more of a presence on the film well, this is it my friends this concludes this video I hope it was something interesting for you to watch it might have been a bit on the boring side because makeup wise like we talked it was only two products finally ended up being three with the mascara at it this is how I believe makeup works best for me for my type of lifestyle but if you guys have suggestions and ideas please write them down in your comments in your comments in the comment box so I can read them because I never know where I can learn new stuff and there's nothing wrong with learning new stuff don't forget to press like if this is the first time you see me hi nice to meet you I hope you get to subscribe because I upload these kind of videos all the time <laughs> okay that's it I need my break Thank you so much for watching. Gros bisous. Mwah.